Hey sisters, I mean, hey friends. When I was a kid, my abuela used to tell me all the time that there was a thin line between being generous and being a come mierda. Google that word if you don't already know what that means. The older I got, the more I came to realize how correct she was in that statement. Unfortunately, it wasn't until after I had been a come mierda one or 200 times that it really sank in. When you are a good person who genuinely cares about other people and are generous with your time or your talent or any of the other assets you possess, you will sometimes come into contact with people who will see that generosity and kindness as a weakness or as a stepping stone towards something greater for themselves. They will have absolutely no problem aligning with you for this reason either. Sometimes it's not even purposeful, it's just that their sense of self-interest is so great that it supersedes any reservations or moral hangups they may have about it. And sometimes people will feel like if they have a relationship with you of some kind, that they are entitled to benefits from it. None of that is okay. Because let's face it, contrary to popular belief, nobody owes anyone a damn thing in life. When you are lucky enough to have someone be good to you or do for you, that's a gift, not an entitlement. And everybody knows from a young age that when you get a gift, you say thank you. You appreciate it. When you find yourself in a situation like the message states, when someone is walking all over you with the shoes that you bought them, it's tough and it's painful. But there's one thing that you can take comfort in. People who step on other people to get to where they want to be will one day lose their balance. Call it karma, call it their lot in life, but just don't call it late for dinner because it's coming and you can take that to the bank. You don't have to retaliate. You don't have to do anything but protect your energy and pull it back from situations where it's not being appreciated. Trust me when I say that they will not only notice, but they will come to regret it too someday when the only person left to buy them shoes is themselves. There are so many things that you can choose to be in this life, yet some people choose to be ungrateful. I will never understand that. Maybe you don't either. You can't change those people any more than you can change the weather. All you can change is whether or not you choose to allow them to keep stepping on you. I wouldn't advise it. Get up and walk away. Take your kindness, your generosity, and your dignity to a place where it's appreciated instead. It's one of the best things you can do for yourself. Chewy? Thanks, Chewy. Okay, well, Chewy agrees, I think. Anyway, that's all I have for you this week. I'll be back next week with another priority message. Chewy? Chewy will let us know if she's going to join us next week or not. Until then, take good care of yourselves.